Hello and welcome. This is Mudassir Afraz from civiltechnologyforyou.com and in this session I will cover the topic conditional formatting in Excel. So this is very useful option in Excel as in if formula we give some condition. Like that we can format the cell based on condition. So let's get started. For example I am putting some data here okay, to give the conditions and I will drag this value down and again I will put some data here for example 50 and 70 and I will drag these value also okay and then I will select all of these values and I will drag them to the right okay so this is the data and I want to format the cells based on condition so for that what I will do I will select all of this data and I will go into the conditional formatting and here are some uh, predefined rules in Excel for example highlight cell rules like greater than less than and between equal to text that contains so here are some of the rules so we will use them for example greater than okay I will use this I will select this one okay and here you can see the option format cell that are greater than okay that are greater than I can give any of the number here for example that are greater than 210 okay 210 so please format the cell that is greater than 210 okay and then again here are the options like light red with dark red text oh, you can use any of the uh, option from here okay green fill light red fill and the custom format is also here okay so I will go into the custom format and I can give the condition like borders okay here format this with borders and here I can give the color okay format these as yellow color okay then I will press okay so you can see that the text that are greater than or numbers that are greater than 2 or 10 that are formatted with yellow color and the border okay so this is the benefit of this again I will select this one I will go into the con conditional format and I can clear the rules okay I will select this one and I can clear rules from entire sheet okay again I will select all of this range I will go into the conditional formatting and we can use new rules as well okay uh, for example I will click on this rules and here are a number of rules like select a rule type here formatting all cells based on their value so here format only cell that contain this is a good rule here okay and you can use this as well for example I will select this one formats only cells that contain and here is the options for example format cells with and here are the options like specific text dates okay blanks no blanks error and no error for example cell value and that is between are equal and greater than and less than there are the options like that is between 30 to and 80 okay I am giving the condition like format only the cells that are between 30 to 80 okay for example 80 I am giving the value and you can format from here I will go here and I can format that cells that particular cell for example I will give the color like this one and in border I will select this one and I will press ok and then again press ok so you can see that Excel formatted the cell that are starting from 30 and ending on 80 so this is the conditional formatting again I will just select all of these I will go into the rules and I will clear the rules one more option is here for example I am giving some formulas here equal to this multiply by this okay and again I am putting some value like k so here is the error okay so how we can define the error as well and here okay I am shifting this so here are the errors okay I will just select the whole sheet and I will go into the conditional formatting new rules and format only cell that contain okay and here with options I will go into the error okay and for example just format the cells which contains error okay and I will go into the format I will go into the fill and I will select the red cell okay and I will press okay 
and then again okay so you can see that excel format the cell that contains error okay again i will clear the rule from here i will go into the conditional formatting clear the rule and i will clear the rule from here now again i will just go here and i will put the data like 20 30 something like this okay and now again i am putting some values here for example here is the activity name activity name activity name so excel is very important in planning okay activity name and activity status for example i am giving you some examples like okay you can use this conditional formatting according to your need activity status like okay for example here is the activity a, a, a sorry and activity a okay and here is the activity b for example and here is the activity c and d as well okay and here i i am giving some status like complete okay complete and here the status incomplete 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 and then again complete complete and complete okay sorry here complete okay complete here okay i will select all of this i will go into the conditional formatting from here i will go into the manage rules okay i will select this one and i will select this new rule okay from here i will just select this format cell that only contain and here are the options like specific text so i will here put the specific text like complete complete from format i will go into the colors and i will just give the color like green okay and i will press okay then again okay and i will create one more rule here just click on new and format cell and again specific text and incomplete okay in complete okay from format i will give the color of red and press okay so then again press okay and again apply and then okay so you can see that excel format the cells like complete activities green and incomplete activities red okay for example i am giving here incomplete okay so now it's make the red color so hope you understand the conditional formatting and you can use conditional formatting as per your need okay and hope you understand this session i will see you in the next thank you and allah hafiz